Hello and welcome to the uh, Hophog HD PBR2 uh, settings tutorial that I'm putting together for you right now. Um, let's go ahead and get started here in the capture module. The uh, first thing to do is make sure that you've got your source set to the Hophog um, capture card. Video input should be set to HDMI. Audio input should be set to HDMI. That is, of course, if you're using HDMI. Um, otherwise, you'll set it to your component, composite, or S-video, but let's face it, you should be using HDMI. Then um, right down here in the device settings, I don't really mess with a whole lot in here. Um, at this point, um, things are going to change for different um, games um, and everything else, so I just leave everything right here at the default. And I get out of that. And over here in the format settings, a few different things to uh, change in here. So try to go in slow and um, you can pause at any time. I keep the uh, aspect ratio at auto. Um, I don't downsample anything if I need to uh, change the resolution of anything I'll do that um, a little bit later on when I get ready to produce the video. Um, here again I don't scale anything down everything is set to source but if you wanted to you could enable it and take your 1080p video and make it 720 by 480 um, in the device might save you a little bit of time if that's something you know you're going to be doing. I uh, don't downscale my frame rate. Um, right here in the video encoder, make sure your profile is profile is set to high, and your levels are set to four. With the audio encoder, um, go ahead and check your analog boost. Make sure that's checked. And um, 192 kbps, 48k, 44.1k. Then over here with the video encoder, you want to um, go ahead and set that up crank it up as high as it'll go click apply sometimes you need to uh, click apply twice oh and make sure that the bitrate is set to constant I think it comes in at default as variable but it needs to be at constant for the best quality click apply there and for the video properties right here at the bitrate there again you want to set it to the maximum which is 12 it doesn't let you change the uh, peak rate I'm assuming that the peak rate and the bit rate will automatically match. Not 100% certain on that. And also make sure that your uh, video bit rate mode is constant as well here. You click apply and there we have to quick click it twice. And there again, not sure why, but you got to do it. Audio properties, make sure everything matches here as it did in the encoder. 192 stereo, 48 kilohertz. And that is it. And uh, moving right along, We've got the input resolution and all this. As soon as this refreshes, you'll see it. Um, with the MT2S, the TS, and the MP4, I've found it um, best to use MP4 because the MT, M2TS format will actually cause ArcSoft to crash a lot more frequently than it will when using MP4. MP4 produces um, a pretty good file. You know, it's not a lot of quality loss in it, so. Uh, you'll be safe working with that and the final thing is make sure that hardware acceleration is on and I know I just said the final thing was hardware acceleration but right here by default this is going to save to um, wherever your videos folder is so what I like to do to keep things a little more organized is uh, go ahead and change that to something um, a little more appropriate you know I've done a few different things with my Hapog so I've uh, done some raw captures and that was for my settings and trials which you can see here on my YouTube channel and I've also um, started working on the next tutorial which is actually going to be producing a video with the Hopog soft, or the ArcSoft software that ships with Hopog um, and that's just about it and my reasons for that is just to uh, like I said keep things a little bit more organized so thanks for tuning in and stop back by remember to comment like and subscribe